Before we get started today, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment Prime down below because we're giving away a $50 gift card or a cash app or VC, whatever y'all want, every single Friday. Also, if you can, if we can make each video average about 10,000 views, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console at the end of the month so you can get a PS5 or Xbox, whatever you choose. I'm going to make sure that we get it for you and get it to you. Thirdly, there are bots in the comment section. They look like Brute. They look like All City. They look like Laker fan. Do not trust anything that says Telegram. We don't got Telegram. All I got is Instagram, Twitter, um, Discord, and Black Planet. <laughs> well, I know what y'all thinking. That and not just say he got Black Planet. Come on, man. I'm an old head, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Make sure y'all govern yourselves accordingly, accordingly. Protect yourselves, man, because there's a lot of people out there trying to get y'all information and um, they trying to fool y'all. Because I'm actually doing giveaways, y'all are especially susceptible. But now that we got all that bull out the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. I want to start the day off with some inspiration from my boy Prime, man. Y'all know what happened yesterday. Prime, talk to him. Coach, considering... Um... Does he got the raise after this game? Today. Yeah, they just changed colors. Motivation for you and your team. You need to better move, baby, bro. Thank you. Know, we're working two jobs to make ends see each other was the motivation. See each other. Me being a great father, when one of my fathers was a drug addiction, a, a drug addict, and my other father was an alcoholic, that was my motivation. Seeing no one really come out of both my father, that was my motivation. This? Oh, baby, you gotta get a line. I wake up motivated. I wake up trying to bless somebody, inspire somebody, encourage somebody, help somebody, motivate somebody, get somebody to the next level. Yeah. And somebody had the audacity to sit up here and say what I ain't. Well, baby, I know what I am. Mm. And I am a whole lot of things yeah. that a lot of folks would like to be. Mm. Oh, right, bring <laughs> Preach to him, Prime. Y'all already know what it is, man. A lot of times, like you said, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with it, but I know a lot of times when you are something that somebody want to be, they're going to find anything bad to say about you, man. And, uh, you know, and, and plus, they're going to they gonna not only do that, they're going to try to take your material and do all that stuff, man. So, look, keep doing what you're doing because I, I feel that because it's like that's something that I haven't felt my whole life and I'm sure a lot of us have you get up just trying to do the best you can for people just like on this like on this right here all I'm trying to do is help people on 2k inspire y'all make y'all laugh here and there you know what I'm saying just just make the jokes make y'all day a little bit brighter and stuff and people gonna try to hate on it and stuff like that so it is what it is it's one of them things where you just have to where you just gotta ignore the noise and bless who you gonna bless like I'm doing with y'all man and then we gonna keep on going like I said when I was on my negativity trip or you know I'm, I'm blasting and going there going at the establishment and just all my videos weren't positive we weren't growing now I'm, now i'm on the on the higher side of things and just trying to motivate y'all and just keep us playing and keep everything upbeat and all that and look at what we doing man we doing we doing numbers and stuff man so make sure y'all uh, hey just like the video and uh, put prime down there at the end of your comment you know, just to let us know that you appreciate us, man. Up next, we got the boy, Big Papa Verde. Not Big Papa, P-O-P-P-A. Big P-O-P-P-E-R. Because he's top popper in A. You know, right, right outside of Gambit. But anyway, Big Papa Verde, he says, Yeah, I think it's a GG on the red quest. Having to try and play to not uh, not be up by more than five to seven points just for a team to quit in the last minute. And the W doesn't count toward the quest. I'm not, I mean, it's, it's not good for my mental. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. It's tough, man, because you gotta really be out there babysitting people. You, it's, it's bad enough that you gotta make them not quit, but then, like I said, when they realize that they lose, it's much worse on PlayStation than it is on Xbox. Um, If you babysit them on Xbox, they normally will stay because they really think they got a chance to win to the end. But on PlayStation, boy, they'll quit in one second on you and that thing won't count, and it sucks. The points will count, but the, uh, you know, the, the win won't count, and man, that is such, such demotivation. I was out there playing with with, with uh with my boy the other day man and like that's that's what we was having to do keep people in the game and it's just like bro why we got to do this why can't we just blast these dudes and get this thing over as quickly as possible hopefully there's something they're gonna fix hopefully there's something they can they can fix and it'll be they can retroactively count toward the stuff because this is tough man i'm not gonna lie to y'all we should not have to we shouldn't have to babysit people and satiate these guys and make them think they're better than what they are just so they'll stay in the game if they quit the win counts towards your real your real record, so it should also definitely count towards your uh, other record. So it is what it is. Up next, we got that boy Laker fan saying, "When y'all say paint defense doesn't exist, what exactly 
do you mean? Because uh, y'all, as y'all see right here, bro, y'all see Gambit right here playing interior defense and stuff like that. And uh, you know, it, it's 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 really there. My boy Exacto Knife, somebody I really respect in the community, he says rim run defense doesn't exist. Post defense is the best ever. And so Lucky Fan says, and by this you mean people have to people have to respect the three so they get by. Uh, they get by you and they're not, and they, I mean, and there's no chasing now, or do you literally mean people driving straight through you and uh, holding X? He says, the three is a big factor, the angle people take off the unrealistic step back, um, escape or size up speed boost is unreal. I do one size up on a, on a post with uh, 80 dunk silver limitless and take off and dunk on them uh, like LeBron in his prime. Uh, it's that bad. And then my guy, my guy, real realistic says, all you need is a 70 dunk uh, to dunk consistently. Uh, even even if someone is near you, uh, I think it should be more like 80. And then what's, and as uh, exactly the night come back and say, nah, nah, my lock got 70 uh, and it's really ass unless you wide. 80 is solid, but 86 is great. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, bro. But see all of that, it goes toward, and yes, it, yes, post, um, you know, interior defense is, is kind of tough, but at the same time, it come back and tell you that it, it's not really broken. If I gotta have, uh, I'm gonna tell you what, you can have an 80 dunk, you're, you're not really completing the dunk unless you get a, unless you get quick drops to pop, you're not really completing that dunk if you got an 80 dunk, unless uh, unless ain't nobody down there, bro. Two people down there, unless quick drops pop or the right dunk pop is not really going. So is the paint defense really that broken? I definitely understand what they saying though with the rim run because I got to respect the three so he can turn the corner. But I'm gonna tell you, the only thing that's gonna really save you in that situation is gonna be Hall of Fame clumps or somebody rotating over. And I think to a large degree, that's how it should be. Like Tim Legler say, if you get that late, you get your feelings hurt, man. So I, I can't, I don't I don't know how I feel about it, man. I, I still think it's cool, but I just think that we gotta learn how to cut people off at the point of attack and all of that. But I will tell you this, when you out there, on, when somebody's ice on you and you're out there on that island, it is extremely difficult to stop them from getting on that rim. That's why you got to call the rotations and try to get up early so that that's not as attractive to them. And now you know they're going for the three, so now you just play the three. And if he keeps getting twos, then you keep getting twos and you're going to win. Because if, if the rim run is easy for them, it's definitely going to be easy for you. Sorry, I just hit the mic, man. And uh, that's how I feel about that, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, though. Because I know not everybody has a team like me that's going to rotate and stuff like that. But this is the most team-oriented 2K that I've seen. So if you don't have that, you, you're probably not going to win very many games. Up next, we got, we got, uh, yo, team up with the homies this weekend uh, to hit these goals. So Saturday, you already know we had the green light. Uh, you had those. We got Dunk Fest on Sunday. We got downtime on Monday. All games worth double XP. I've already maxed out my guy, man. Um, so I'm ready. I'm good to go um on that but i will be out there we're gonna be streaming later on me brute and gambit you know we gotta put the show on we gotta have we had a whole bunch of fun last yesterday a lot of laughs man we were just like yo we're talking about the draymond and uh what's the name situation and uh like i said we just had a whole bunch of fun man up next we got the boy and og grandmaster sensei my close personal friend uh he said this is probably the worst year to be a ball handler so boring and unexciting unless you unless you're a blade ba a beyblade and then Lucas says come back cry more and play basketball bro what are you talking about <laughs> I can understand what he's saying though because a lot of times when you playing when you playing right now man you don't have um you know what I'm saying like I, I guess they feel like you don't have the most moves but you're gonna have to use those attacking size ups and stuff like that and all of that like I can see what he's saying that that not that he can't get it done but it's just not fun to get it done but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section I see some dudes out there moving and look like they having fun getting it done but I also see some people that are uh you know that feel the same way that he's talking about up next community clips boy it ain't just about the community clips it's just not about uh it's not just about the uh the, the game boy look the real shell Shep showed up at Rucker Park today. Y'all already see who it is. Look at that boy. Looking like, bro, this dude has not aged a day. Bro, he looked and walked the same way. This movie came out 30 years ago. 30? Was it 30? Eh. Yep, two thousand. Yeah, like 30 years ago, bro. And he still, he still looked the same. Yo, that is insane, bro. And y'all be talking about old head. Boy, you gotta hope you still look, you still look. Uh, you know that young when you get there when, when you get there man, you know it is what it is up next bro We got we got uh, hey, we got him right here. He said I finally got a chance man Let me see what we got man. Let me see, let me see the little 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 dribblage little drop We gonna skip we gonna skip ahead man. Oh, it's like a little mixtape. Okay. Okay. Okay, but pull up 
Drake, this Steph Stein say he finally getting into it a little bit. Oh, Dot, Dot to the corner. Okay, Trey's up. Splash down. Look, you got up that Steph, mix him up a little bit. Look inside out. Look, step back. Fader, Trey's up. Splash down. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't even mad at the Steph. Do your thing, Steph. Do your thing. The twins, they said it's that time of year. Trey Bow, y'all. They say it's that time of year, man. This is what we ready for, man. You know what I'm talking about? It says today marks the return or what have you and all that good stuff, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Hey, that boy, Zuli Butler. Let me see what he got, man. Let's see what he got. Let me see what he got, man. Talking about, all right, all right. 40, 12 seconds left. Is this for the money? It ain't for the money, but let's see what he got, man. ISO up top. He gonna take a little, little dribble to the side, dribble back, a little back and forth. He caught on the screen, trades up, splash down. Let's go, let's go. And last but not least, like I said, this ain't always just, this ain't always just about, um, it ain't always just about 2K. Sometimes we gonna have some of this in here, man. Check it out. Now, if y'all don't know, this is Apex Legs and this is Kasi. He's up in the ceiling. He's throwing down one package. He throws down the next one. Oh, baby! He gonna throw down his own. <laughs> There's nothing they can do. They trapped. Oh, baby! Hey, bro, that's the most sinister thing that you can do in that game, bro. That's why everybody hates costume, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully I have sufficiently, sufficiently motivated y'all this morning to get out there and get it done. If not, come on to the stream and I'm uh, we gonna get that thing done, man. Also, make sure you comment Prime at the end of your comment down in the comment section, man. Uh, You know what I'm saying? Help us get the engagement up. It helps us get the video seen by more people, but more importantly, it, you can win, a, you get a, it gives you a chance to win $50 in cash out slash V see whatever you want and also you get a chance to win a next gen console that we can average 10k views on all the videos man uh have a great sunday man relax chill with your family do what you gotta do let's recharge let's get into it tomorrow and uh let's have a great week man and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town Guys,